Okay, let's round out the show with the last topic, but certainly not the least topic because we talk a lot about LSU football and the Saints, two teams that have big expectations this season, two very talented football teams. This is another one. Let's talk Southern Jaguars football with WAFB Zone, Kevin Batiste. Kevin, welcome. Be sure to follow him on the X app, all the social medias. Info is down below. Kevin's been following this Southern team for a couple of years, and Last season was really impressive. Seven and five, year one for Eric Dooley, perhaps better than some people expected. What can they do in year two to be even better? John, it all comes down to the quarterback. I mean, that was the real Achilles heel for Southern last year. I mean, they, they ran the ball like they usually do. They had a good crop of receivers. Their defense was at the top of the swag, well, top half of the swag, top 10 in the FCS. But it all comes down to who is, who is the QB1. Deshaun McCray, he was subpar to say the least. Can Harold Blood be that guy that they've been lacking since 2017? And so far, he's been showing that on camp. He's been having good command of the offense. He's been getting the timing down with his wide receivers. He has a good bond with his receivers and his offensive line. And that's really all that comes down to. Blood got a little bit of time last year. I think he played in six games last season. So he got a little bit of experience, but now you're looking for him to step up from kind of a rotational guy, a guy that sees a little bit of the field to being the guy, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, those six games, I mean, it, it was pretty much garbage time. I mean, I think one game was against Floyd Memorial when they was up by like 60. It was 80 to nothing. <laughs> yeah, when they was up by like 60, 80 points. The other time was, was Virginia Lynchburg. He came in in serious time mm. in the SWAC championship, okay. but Dooley kind of had that a little mismanaged. But now, like I said, it, it is all him. And one thing that I learned when talking to these guys for our special is a uh, new wide receiver, Jalen Howard, comes in from Prairie View. He calls blood a dog. Mm. He, he calls him a doll. He says he likes out after practice. He's in the weight room at 10 p.m. watching film. He wants to know the exact timing, the speed, how these receivers get down pat. So, so far, they're believing in number nine right now. And for those who don't know, being called a dog is a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's something you want to have, especially your teammates and teammates on the offensive side of the ball talk to you about. I'm glad you mentioned offense, though, because I found something pretty interesting with doing a little bit of mm -hmm. research on this team from last year. It seems like in the games they lost – it's because the offense didn't really produce. So in games where they failed to score 25 or more points, they were 1-4. and four. Do the math, they finished 7-5. and five. That means they were 6-1 and one in games where they did score 25 points or more. What gives with that? I think it all just comes down to, to, to mental toughness. I mean, one thing I've learned about Southern, not just last year, but in years past, they don't know how to come back when they get down. You know, hmm. in, the, in the past, they were like a, a real running team. Now they're trying to become this pass-heavy team. Once they get down double digits, it's like motion starts sinking, the camaraderie gets down. I think it all just comes down to, to mental toughness and being able to sustain that for 60 minutes. Interesting. And you think the offense you think will be more prolific than last year, the guys they got right now, if I put you on the spot here? I think so. I think so. Uh, one thing that head coach Eric Dooley says is you know, they're going to become more balanced. I feel like that, down the line last year, once they realized that Bashar McCray had his struggles, they just had to – be real conservative, run the football, mm -hmm. not really take many shots downfield. And when they did take their shots, they didn't connect. So I think you're going to see a real more balanced offense from, uh, from Southern this year. And one thing about Blood, he does have a cannon. Okay. He can sling it. That's good to know. Yeah. And Dooley's an offensive coach too, right? He had yeah. prolific offenses at Prairie View A&M, which is where he was before. Those running backs too, they had a couple of young running backs last year. I think you've already done a story mm -hmm. on those running backs. Tell me about that room a little bit. Well, they lost two. They okay. lost two guys in J.J. Sims and Carl Ligon, two of the top five rushers from last year. That hurts. But they, they, they reloaded mm -hmm. pretty cool, fast at that position because they bring back a guy in Kendrick Grimes who kind of had a little breakout as a freshman last year, especially in that UAPB game where he scored three touchdowns. And they bring back Kobe Dillon. Now, Kobe Dillon in high school, he was a quarterback. Mm. But in the offseason of 2021, right before the fall season, he was a scout team quarterback, but he wanted to get on the field. So he, said, hey, he told the then head coach, I'll play running back. And he just so happens to later in that season break the single game rushing record at Southern for rushing. No the, kidding. Yeah. That's yeah, quite two, a story. 267 yards against UAPB. So, and then he tore his ACL, suffered a severe knee injury last year. So now he's looking real fresh, real spry in camp. He says he feel like he's back to 100%. So look for him to have a big year. And then they bring in a transfer from Alabama A&M and Gary Qualls, a former first team SWAC all member. 
We talked to him at practice a few days ago. He says he can do it all. He can catch out the backfield. He can get between the tackles. He can block. He can return kicks. So I have little worries about this Southern running back room. Kind of reminds me of an Alvin Kamara if he can do all of those things. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, season's coming up soon. The opener on September 2nd at 5 o'clock against Alabama State. And your special is coming up this weekend on Saturday, I believe. So what can we expect from that? Uh, we can expect uh, some fun. I'll tell you that. One thing about a Southern Special is not just about football. We include the fans. We include the band. We include just the overall culture of the HBCUs. But as far as on the field, we're going to give you an in-depth look at the team, what they're working with, talk about more of that motto, good to great, which I'm rocking mm -hmm. right here on these wristbands, which is a little deeper story than just football. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to keep that on the wraps right now. <laughs> we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about – we're going to feature one of the players. His name is Robins Beauplan. His story – He's well, actually, he's a punter. But his story as far as coming to Baton Rouge, it's a little deeper than that. Mm. And we're also going to talk about the Bayou Classic. It makes 50, 50 years this season. Of course, a lot of long history, a lot of stories, a lot of families are involved in this rivalry. It's going to be a good time. A game that Southern won last year in the yes, Bayou sir. Classic. At what time on Saturday is it airing? 6.30 on okay. WAFB. It will also be streaming on the app and on the website. There you go. So if you got no plans, these should be your plans. Tune in for Kevin's. Southern football special. Last year, a 7-5 and five season for Eric Dooley and company. A SWAC championship game appearance. Lost to Jackson State, but Deion Sanders is gone. So maybe good to great. Be a great season for Southern this year. Yeah, man. Coach Brown, hope you have fun out there in Colorado. I think he <laughs> yeah. takes his lumps his first year. But that's another topic for yeah. another day. Yeah, no kidding. I'm sure we'll get into that. Well, Kevin, thanks for joining us. Yes, We're looking sir. forward to the season, and we'll have you back on soon, of course. So. Yes, sir. All right. That wraps up Game Time Episode 5. Thanks so much for tuning in once again. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday and Thursday. We'll be back next week with more LSU, more Southern, more Saints as well. Be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on the socials at WAFB on the X app. And check us out, wafb.com slash game time. See you guys next week.